Mr. President. Thank you, Major. Rough riding, Mr. President. Oh, I'm used to it. Cavalry horses ride smoother than an armchair in the White House. Mr. Lincoln used to be in the Cavalry Major, the Illinois Volunteers, Captain Abe Lincoln. Where is your Lieutenant Hunt, Major? Mr. Hunt. I'm glad to meet you, Lieutenant. I want to thank you for the excellence of your reports on the Indian situation here in the New Mexico Territory. I thank you, sir. I'd like to share that honor with our Indian scout, Corporal Coyote. At any rate, I'm here because of the fine work of you men. Thank you. Judge Wilcox, I'd like to meet Ackerman now. Certainly, Mr. President, if you'll just step this way. All right, Ackerman, step forward. Come along, come along. Mr. Hunt, take over. Yes, sir. Itam name Petin. Mr. President, allow me to present Ackerman, War Chief of the Indian Nations of the New Mexico Territory. Yes, sir. I'm delighted. Not any pity. I cannot speak the language of your people, Akama, but I have learned to say we meet as friends. Ashinano Siki. Oh, hey, hey, Onshinago. Honia. Mr. President, uh, Akama speaks English. Well, I should think he would, Judge. His family's been in the country longer than any of ours. The great white father honors his red children in coming. As our hands were just linked, in friendship, so may we and all our people, both red and white, be linked in peace. I wish it with all my heart. Only evil man, no white, can break this friendship. Then let each of us, with evil men among us, Akama, you as chief of your people, and I as president of mine, so may we live and work together, many people, but one nation. Judge Wilcox, Will you be good enough to hand me the presentation for Akama? I present this to you in the name and with the goodwill of the people of the United States of America. And now, farewell. Suaske. Around here. Oh, hello. What's going 
on here, Sergeant? Where are you taking these men? They're under arrest, Captain. For what? Stealing rations, sir. Food belong to them, Harrison? Let them go. Colonel McComb's orders, Captain. All right, go ahead. I'll speak to the Colonel. Yes, sir. Here, you go in. Good morning, Major. Captain Manley, good morning. Uh, are we near Port Union? You'll be there in a few minutes, ma'am. Hallelujah. We know every bump in this road between here and Kansas City, and we're only halfway to where we're going. Bound for Las Vegas, ma'am? Yes, we have an engagement there. This is my niece, Cherry, the well-known entertainer, in the theater. The Captain Hunt, ma'am. Uh, how do you do? I'm Mrs. Fenway, her manager. You've heard of Cherry, I'm sure. Well, I... Oh, I'm afraid we're holding up the coach, Captain. Are there any accommodations at Fort Union? Oh, you'd be most welcome, I'm sure. Will we be seeing you there? Well, I'd be honored to show you around, ma'am. Thank you. I'll be looking forward to... In the end! Better go ahead, Bertie. Get up, Pancho, cricket! <laughs> all right, Akama, I know what this is all about. My braves must be released. There'll be trouble if you come busting into the fort like this. You better let me handle it. There's some mistake. First two times, maybe. Third time, not, Captain. All right, follow me. I'll get it fixed. Expecting somebody? Get this. Wahoo! It's Jerry! Attention! Make way for rain. Oh. Getting fancy, huh, Cherry? You didn't act so fancy in Kansas City when the boys... and beggars. I'm sorry, sir. I can't agree with that. The Indians were taking supplies that belong to them, that are being withheld illegally. They're getting their supplies as the law provides. If they claim otherwise, they're lying. I claim otherwise, Mr. Commissioner. I claim they're being cheated and robbed, and it's bound to lead to trouble. Are you daring to suggest Captain that... Hunt, if you or the Indians have any accusations to make against the Commissioner, they'll be made through channels. 
Some of those channels are clogged, sir. Hungry men get impatient. There are ways of dealing with impatience, Hunt. If you'll follow me, I'll show you how we treated smart Indians in the old army. That's an order. Yes, sir. Get out of this fort, Akama. Now take those braves with you. You will release my men first, Colonel. If they have done wrong, I will have them punished. You'll have them punished. We have our own laws, ancient tribal laws. Your president gave us the authority to judge our own people. I don't recognize your authority. When you or any of your people break the laws, we'll do the punishing. Now get. Arrest them. Dupa! Stop those Indians! Don't shoot! You heard my orders. Fire! Great White Father is dead, but his heart could live. You have stopped it again. Lock him up. I owe you a debt, Colonel McComb. Judge Wilcox. I will pay it. Colonel McComb. Well, what do you want, Hunt? Sir, I request permission to file charges with the Secretary of War concerning the killings that have just taken place. Request denied. You're under arrest for attempting to countermand a superior officer's orders. As such, you have no legal rights unless cleared by courts martial. You will confine yourself to quarters. Yes, sir. A long time ago, you said that no matter what happened, these words would remind us that, that we are friends. Will you save him? The friendship is broken. The earth has tasted the blood of my warriors. It cries out for vengeance. I understand how you feel. Anyway, take this back. It belongs to you. If you're planning to raise the hatchet, Akama, don't. Would be a big mistake. Indians are not afraid to die, Captain Hunt. I know that. But you're letting a few evil men make you forget all the good that's been done. Souls of my dead warriors will not rest until their murderers lie beside them. We have laws too, Akama. They take a little time. But the man who ordered your men shot will be punished. That I promise. The promises of white men are like dust in the wind. Listen to me, Akama. I'm your friend. But if you take the law into your own hands, there'll be war and you'll make me your enemy. Don't do that. Give me some sign to your braves not to raise the hatchet. The hatchet is already raised.
First of my debts has been paid, Captain Hunt. Do not come after me, or there will be more. Guard! Alarm the post! Chance catch up on me and night. Is that what you're hoping, you dog eating? All right, break it up as you were, Anderson. You've got Captain Hunt to thank for this, you know that. Indian attack. Colonel McComb's been murdered. No, 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 no. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Take it easy, Seven. Too dark, not a chance. Double the guard, Sergeant. Order all troops out, full field equipment. Yes, sir. Mr. Vermont. Yes, sir. Troops A, D will remain to guard the fort. All civilians to be evacuated to Fort Reed. Two platoons to escort them. All transportation west is suspended until further notice. Yes, sir. Now, I want volunteers for a small patrol to leave at dawn. There's a chance to settle this thing without war if we don't go out in strength. Before you decide, I want to warn you that it's a dangerous chance. But I think it'll work. All right, who's coming? Sergeant Garrity, sir. Ben Vixen. Anderson, sir. Chief Sergeant. 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 Back, sir. Please. Are you? Good. We'll travel light, Sergeant. Five days rations. Better see that these men get some sleep. There won't be much from here on. Yes, sir. All right, get your tack together and hit the sack on the double. Captain Hunt, we don't wish to go east. Well, there's a stage leaving tomorrow. You better take it. We happen to want to go west. Is that any of your business? Yes, it's my business. Hackamas Indians are moving that way. I've stopped all traffic west. The judge offered to take us to Santa Fe. No dice. Not Santa Fe or Albuquerque or Tucson either. They asked us to leave. Stop being fancy. They run us out. Couldn't you make that Las Vegas judge? Captain Hunt wouldn't like that, would he? Mr. Vermont. I think that you should insist that Captain Hunt turn the command over to you. You do? Yes, because I doubt his fitness or his desire to catch Ackerman. And furthermore, he's under arrest. I myself heard the Colonel order it. I didn't hear a thing, Judge. Come in. Yes, Mr. Vermont. Captain, mightn't it be better if I took this patrol out alone? What do you mean by that? Just a suggestion, sir. We leave at dawn, Mr. Vermont. Under my command.
think they should be pushed much further, Captain. Horses are on there. It's an hack of a thing. He's pushing horses and men, too. No disrespect, sir, just curiosity. You're getting further away from the fort. You don't know where Ackerman has gone. You're running low on rations, water, and morale. My book doesn't tally. Ackerman didn't learn tactics from a book at West Point, Mr. Vermont. Anyway, how do you intend to find them? I don't. I think you'll find us. Mel! One of the times in my life I wish I was in the Navy. Yeah, sure is peaceful. The ocean. Nothing but blue skies and water. Just kind of rocking gently. Looks like Ackerman's found us, Captain. Aren't we going after him? We won't be going in that direction, Mr. Vermont. I'm all mixed up. I can't figure out whether it's been a thousand or fifteen hundred years I've been stepping in this battle. Got calluses clear up to my neck. Hey, got calluses clear up to the back of my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I laugh, you jughead. Get knocked off one at a time. Not even a man's chance to hit back. Cheever. Huh? Cheever, you're dead in your saddle. No, keep your hands off me. I'm, I'm riding here. Hung up. No bones broken, I think. I'm sorry about this, sir. It couldn't help it. You all right? Yes. Sergeant Garrity. Yes, sir. See the private chiever's horse, Sergeant. Yes, sir. That shoe's gone. By the looks of things, it's been over there a couple of days. Why didn't you report it? When? There ain't no time to stop. If I catch you guys mistreating these horses anymore, I'll knock your teeth out. You know more about the horses than you do about the men. It's a lot tougher to replace a good horse. Just fix it, Sergeant. Let's save the fighting for the Indians. Yes, sir. What engines, Lieutenant? Look at him with that cheroot. He's acting more like General Grant every day. The men are in bad shape, Captain including those that don't fall. How are the supplies? Water's about gone. Rations for about a day. We'll go on for another day, then, as soon as the horses are ready. I'd like to respectfully remind you, sir, it's five days back to the fort. I'm well aware of that, mister. I got a belly full of this. I thought you wanted to kill Indians. I didn't want to run away from them. Shut up, Anderson. You want him to hear you? Let him hear me. I'm sick of this. When do we get a chance to fight? Yeah, let's fight or turn back. Did I hear someone say he was tired? Anybody want me to call this off and go back to Fort Union? Private Clifton, you want to go back? I know, sir. Corporal Mack? Me? Not me, Captain. Daniels, Harrison, Vail, Parsons? Look, I'm not going. I ain't tired. Anderson? I'm sticking. Good. Fine. Everybody wants to keep going. Well, you're all liars. Liars, every dirt-covered stinging one of you. I guess that includes me. Sure, I'm lying as hard as the rest of you. We're all sick of riding. 
Throw on a bath, hot grub, and a bed. Want to sleep without dreaming of a bullet in our backs. But that's not for us. Not yet. I don't know what you think of Indians, I don't care. When it comes to this kind of fighting, they got guts and stamina and brains. When we started out, I thought we'd find Ackerman in a couple of days. He's still ahead of us. But we're gonna track him down. We're gonna bring him back. Or we're staying. And that's it. Staying. Mr. Babat. Yes, sir. Are we ready to mount? We're ready, sir. Take ten minutes rest. How about a slug of your, uh, water? Get your own. Well, I guess the Sarge would like to hear about this. Open your trap and I'll fill it with lead. I'd rather have it filled with what you got there. How about it? Three bucks a swig. Three bucks? I only make 16 a month. Three bucks. It's called rock with wings, Captain. I know, Coyote. Say not da. You ever been up to the Pueblo on top? No, no, forbidden. Very sacred to Indian. Bit a long time ago, before Columbus. Then Spanish come, attack Indian on top. I wouldn't try it without artillery. Many Spanish died, take 11 days. They have guns, Indian only bow and arrow, rocks. Spanish get up, build church. Then earthquake, break up only trail. Everyone die. You mean nobody could get up there even if they tried? Indian who want to, bad enough can go anywhere. Well, you're an Indian coyote and a soldier. That's where we're going. Climbing that, Captain? That's the idea, Mr. Vermont. Coyote? Garrity? Yes, sir? I want you, Harrison, Anderson, Daniels, and Lindley. And rifles and one canteen of water on the double. Yes, sir. Have the rest of the men cover us as we climb. If we run into trouble, don't come up. Just get the men back to the fort. You'll find a water hole if you go back by way of Temple Dome. Lead the way, Coyote.
Gary and Daniels come with me. The rest of you go with her. And watch it. We'd find something here. Guess I was wrong. Come on! We was after engines, Captain. Couldn't you see there were kids? They grow up. Take his gun, Daniels. He's dead, Captain. I'm sorry about this, but why did you ring that bell? Who are you trying to signal? All right, sir. I'm not your son. Your soldier killed my brother. Someday I kill him. I could make him talk if you'd let me. I'll bet you could. Get out of my sight. Hackamas boy, aren't you? We'll have to get down to the bottom as fast as we can and warn the men to be on the alert for an attack. Yes, Lindley, you stay here. Keep your eyes open. Fire a shot if you see anything on the horizon. Yes, sir. Garrity, take care of the boy. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Charlie. What is it, Coyote? Hear many horses coming. Hold it. Are you sure, Coyote? I can see for miles, not a trace. Maybe it's your own horses below. Yes, maybe so.
for your neck. Start. Hold your fire! You want the truth? Captain Hunt! Stay down and be quiet, Charlie. I warn you not to come after me, Captain. We can kill you all now. But that is still not my wish. We will allow you and your men to return to the fort safely. We'd be glad to. We want you to come with us. I always know you are a brave man, Captain. But I did not think you a fool. You're right, Ackham. I'm not. You killed four of my men trying to lead us away from this rock. We're here. You tried to ambush us and failed. You attacked us and were beaten off. The attack made you use bullets, Captain. A lot of them found their mark. But you have not many more left. Not bullets, not food, not water. Go! Oh. Take this water and go. Why are you so anxious to get us away from rock with wings, Akima? Live while you can, Captain. Charlie! The Lord denied The Lord denied I want my boy. I also want the man who killed my oldest son. Your boy will be safer with us. The man who killed your other son will be punished. You must return to face your punishment too, Akima. Or else we will fight. Each of us must do what he believes is right, Captain. I have a thousand well-armed men. Many more tribes will join me. We let you think a while. Then we fight. Wait! No, wait! He's offering a truce! You can't turn down a, a truce! Wait! Look here, Hunt! How dare you turn down Agamemnon's truce? What right have you got to expose us to certain death? No, we're not your soldiers! I accept, Akima! 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 I did not know the judge was in the coach. The terms had changed. I want him too. You ask for the truce, we'll make the terms. And prepare to die, Captain. You will need this. Canteens, remaining supplies, and ammunition. Link the horses. We're going to the top. Everyone, going to the top! <laughs> I 
can't go another step. Captain Hunt, you don't expect us to climb any further, do you? I don't see that you have any alternative. These women are in torture. They've been through torture. They were given orders not to come this way. They disregarded them. You can stay down here if you like. We're going to the top. You mean you desert us here? Never mind, Judge. We'll go on. Harriton, Finnegan, help the ladies. Easy now, feathers. Take a few deep breaths. Stop the day there. Turning in your canteen, trooper. It was empty. I left it below. All right. I'll trade you. And it ain't water. I'll talk to you on top. joined Akama while you were climbing, sir. Well, just keep watching them, Lindley. Yes, sir. Issue one ration of water all around. And only one. We certainly could have used the water Akama offered us, sir. That was another decoy, Mr. Vermont, to keep us from looking around up here. Now, you organize a search detail. I think you'll find water. Maybe something more. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kyrie. gonna find water under these rocks. <laughs> Hard enough to hit an Indian with a bullet. Now we're gonna throw rocks at him. Matter, Dark. I wonder if it's too late to join the Navy. What's the matter with it? White men make big fire. Sit back. Indian make small fire. Sit near. Oh, they're just too lazy to get wood, Charlie. Should have gone to West Point. All you do is carry two bars and give orders. I don't know what to do with all my spare time now. Well, Akamai ain't gonna give you as much spare time as you think. Can't you get him out of here? Haven't earned a few minutes rest without an engine drilling me with his eyes? Go on, get out of here! Come on, Charlie. You're scaring the big soldier, come on. We'll stay over here, Charlie. You like me, Charlie's friend? Why, I am your friend. I give you present. Old Indian Arrowhead. Well, thanks, Charlie. We friends? Shake. Now you give Charlie present. Anything you want, Charlie. I want gun. Gun? I kill him. Oh, now, Charlie, you can't do that. No more friends. Indian giver. Captain Hunt was right. We shouldn't have come. I'll never get off the top of this rock alive. Don't you believe it, Feathers. To show you my faith in the future, I'm hereby proposing to you. We'll get married in San Francisco with all the trimmings. It'll be just like St. Louis. Remember the night I freed that steamboat man? Oh, the way the champagne flows. That drinks I've passed up in my time. Oh, what I wouldn't give for one right now. 
A little extra ration on private parking. I thought it was water. <laughs> Where did you get this? Daniel. Parsons. I'm real obliged to you. Going to show you my gratitude? How about a little game? Oh, Andrew, you'll never change. How can you think of gambling when we may be murdered any minute? You mean them Indians? Let them come. They got wampum. I'll play it. All right, gentlemen, gather round. Keep your mind off your troubles and get rich at the same time. Sari, Matilde, and little Joe, what never got his face washed. <laughs> See where you are. All right. Back of my stirring, sir? Not yet, Sergeant. But he will be. If I know him, he's determined to get up here at all costs. Those rocks will hold him. We can stop most of them, but some will get through. We've got to get word back to Fort Union. I'll go there. I'd like to try it. I can make it, Captain. We'll draw for this one. It's a long chance. I want it equal. How about high card, sir? All right, Sergeant. Just for luck, suppose you let someone else deal. Certainly, sir. I'll just stir him a bit. You cut them, Feathers. Give you another cut. Anyone off the top? Little Joe. Feathers, my love. There's my dowry. See you in Frisco. Good hunting, troopers. I didn't help him much. He always liked his odds long, Lieutenant. Jerry? Let her go. How about a song, Cherry? Yeah, yeah Cherry. Nice. I don't feel much like singing, boys. Oh, go ahead, Cherry. It'll perk everybody up and make you feel better, too. Okay, Sarge. Just for you. <laughs> Soldier, soldier, won't you marry me now with your rifle, fife, and drum? How can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I've got no hat to put on? When I've got no hat to put on. So off to the hat shop she did go, hard as she could run. Brought him back the finest hat there was, and the soldier put it on. And the soldier put it on. Soldier, soldier, won't you marry me now with your rifle, for fife and drum? How can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I've got no coat to put on? When I've got no coat to put on. So off to the tailor she did go as hard as she could run. Brought him back the finest that there was and the soldier put it on. And the soldier put it on. Soldier, soldier, won't you marry me now with your rifle, fife, and drum? How can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I've got no shoes to put on? When I've got no shoes to put on. So off to the shoe shop she did go as hard as she could run. Brought 
him back, the finest that there was, and the soldier put them on, and the soldier put them on. Soldier, soldier, won't you marry me now with your eyes for five and gone? How can I marry such a pretty girl as you with a wife and baby at home? With the wife and baby at home. <laughs> come on, Jerry, do it like you used to do in Kansas City. Yeah, come on, Jerry. All right, boys. against it. I happen to need even you. Or my aim would be better. I suppose you could be soldiers if we weren't weighed down with parasites. I can't give orders to them, but I can give them to you. From now on, if I catch any man even talking to one of the civilians, he's going down off this rock on his own. So the rest of us can stay here and fight. Indians. I'll be your friend. Oh, thanks, Charlie. You thirsty? <sighs> yes, Barry. You come with me. You know where this water is? Oh, I can't tell you how good. You not tell anyone. It's secret. With you, me. Mm. Please listen to me, Charlie. No, but try to understand. We can't let anybody die, even when we hate them. You break promise. a lot of people from being killed. Yours and mine. Come with me. Where have you been? None of your business. Where are you? Water. You found water. Where's the water? Come with me.
I want to tell him about these guns. That won't be good for Akima. It won't be good for me either. Charlie, listen. You know the way down the trail in the dark, don't you? Oh, I, I don't mean that you should go alone. I'll go along with you and I'll help you. Ought to be a fine, brave thing for you to do. And your father'd be so proud of you. And, and he'd be so happy he'd let me go free. Oh, show me the way to the trail, will you, Charlie? Don't stop you. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll get you by the soldiers. I'll sneak you by. Just you and me. We'll sneak by. Charlie, just think. You could save your father. Will you, Charlie? <laughs> talking about? The Indian boy. He showed me where the water is. Guns and ammunition are hidden there, too. Where? I'll show you. So this is what I come over with after. Brand new repeating rifles. Not enough ammunition to supply the Five Nations. for the judge and the Indian boy. You'll know we've found the guns now. Oh, wait, wait, Charlie. Wait. Look, look, there's your father. Now, you tell him I brought you down, won't you? You, you tell him I, I did it for you, won't you? Not do for me. Do for you. No, wait, Charlie. No, wait, Charlie. Tell him I'm your friend. I brought your son down. I brought you, didn't I? Didn't I? I saved him for you. I, I, I don't want any reward for it. I, I just want you to let me go, that's all. Akam, I, I, I know that you, you Indians have been mistreated. And when you do let me go, I'm going to Washington. And I'll do something about it. I'll, I'll get him to do something about it, and, and I'll get a full pardon for you, because I'm your friend. You, you, do you remember? I was with President Lincoln when, when I met you. Do you remember? Akam, I remember. Yeah, well. He, he, he would want you to let me go. And the, the government will be very mad if you don't let me go, Akima. I'll go! What are you, what are you going to do, Akima? Hey, Akima, look. I've got a, a beautiful present for you. It's pure gold. Gold just for you. Absolutely pure gold. And it's all for you. Akima, all gold just to let me go. I don't. Don't No way, my I don't believe thunder. I don't transferred out of this outfit. Indian attack now, Captain. Better let me go for help. Only Indian can get through. You let Coyote go, not lose more men. All right, Coyote, go ahead. Good luck. Alert the men, Sergeant. Oh, oh yes.
You've got to get to the portal. Put your arm around me. Boy and girl, it's your life and his, and I'm in now. Hurry, hurry. 